morning students in this class we will be doing class 9 third chapter coordinate geometry so coordinate geometry you have learned in your lower classes so since this is, this is only a small chapter in this class i will be completing the important things that you have to do in the chapter i will explain okay first thing is position of an object when you want to find the position of an object you need to know where it is that is if you take a plane like this if in this board i am keeping a dot here means you will say the position as its height is 5 meters 5 uh, centimeter and from from here it is 5 centimeter from here it is 5 centimeter like this you will locate the point okay so that is the position of the object so position of the object you will be saying you will be telling like that that is from the bottom and from the side it is located at this spot like this like that you will do, you will denote the position of the object okay so if you take a if you take an axis that is this is a horizontal axis and this one is vertical axis so this one this one will be placed in the cartesian plane so we will be saying this as a cartesian plane so this is a plane axis in this horizontal and vertical line will be there so in this vertical and horizontal line are named as x axis that is the horizontal axis is x axis and the vertical axis is called y axis okay so this point the point where both intersects is called the origin okay then we'll be naming it 1 1 cm like this this is positive axis this is x axis positive side and this one is y axis x axis negative side y uh, x axis negative side same way for this y axis this one is negative side and this one is positive side. So, you divide this Cartesian plane into four quadrants. When you divide it horizontally and vertically, you will get four quadrants, four equal parts. That is four quarters you will get for that. So, this is called, this is first quadrant, this is second quadrant, this is third quadrant and this one is the fourth quadrants. Okay. So, you will get four quadrants when you are dividing this Cartesian plane along the x-axis and y-axis. Okay. So, this uh, first quadrant, uh, you will have both the points positive. Y-axis and that the second quadrant will be one is negative and the other one is positive. That is x-axis will be positive negative and y-axis will be positive. In the third quadrant, both x-axis and y-axis points will be negative. In the fourth quadrant, x-axis will be positive and y-axis point will be negative. This is how you will be plotting the points in the four quadrants. So, this is x-axis. This is the Cartesian plane. It is divided into x-axis and uh, y-axis. The center point is called the origin and the uh, x-axis, this side is positive axis, this side is negative axis. Y-axis, this is positive axis, that is up is positive axis, down is negative axis. This is quadrants, x-axis and y-axis. So, the point that you are, for example, if you are asked to plot the point 2, 2. If you are asked to point, asked to plot the point 2, 2. On this Cartesian plane, you will be plotting it as this is 2. So, the first one, first one is the x coordinate and the second one is the y coordinate. So, this x coordinate is the distance between the y axis and the point. The distance of y axis, that is this is 2 comma 2. This 2 point is, this is the distance between y axis and the point. That is x coordinate, that is called Abscissa. You will say that as abscissa. This x coordinate is called abscissa. And y coordinate is from here to here. 
that is the distance between the x axis and the point is called ordinate. So x axis point is called abscess and y axis point is called ordinate. Okay, then the center point, the point where it meets that is 0 comma 0. So we will be telling that as 0 comma 0, that is the origin. So from that only all four sides emerges. So this is x axis, this is y axis. You will have four quadrants in this. In the first quadrant, you will be plotting x axis. So a quadrant means a quadrant and if you are asked to plot a point mean both x axis and y axis will be there in that uh, points. Then only you can locate it. So this one. So if a, uh, this is uh, both are positive, uh, positive points. This one is one is negative and the, from the first quadrant both are positive. In the second quadrant x axis will be negative point, y axis will be positive point. In third quadrant both will be negative and fourth quadrant x axis is x point is positive and y point is negative. Okay. So and the center point is, is called the origin. Okay. When if you are asked to point, um, locate the point on the x axis, and on the y axis, on x axis means it is 2 comma 0. That is on axis, on x axis, on x axis it will be x comma 0. So x is any point. If you are asked to plot 4, if you are asked to point 4 comma 0, it will be here. 4 comma 0 on the x axis. And on the y axis is, on y axis it is. 0 comma 1. So if you are asked to plot, plot minus 3, that is 0 comma minus 3 means it will be plotted here on the axis. Okay, so these are the important things that you have to know regarding coordinate geometry. We are having three exercises in that. First exercise is only location. Uh, it is only practical application so that you can do by yourself. Second and third exercise only plotting the points that also one or two sums. I will give you an example, the remaining things you can do. So, in this class, I will be completing this chapter itself. Okay. So, this sum is exercise 3.2, second sum. Write the following coordinates of the, write the coordinates of the following points. So, few points are given on the Cartesian plane. You are asked to write the coordinate points of that points. So, few points of them. So, we will be writing the points and the coordinate. So, first one is M. So, M point is, first you have to write the X axis, X coordinate. Next one only Y coordinate that will be enclosed by a bracket. Like that only you will write the point. So, M is X coordinate is 3 and Y coordinate is 1. So, for M it is 3 comma 1. Okay, that is the location of point M on the Cartesian plane. Okay, now G. G is X axis is 5 and Y axis is minus 2. So, 5 comma minus 2. Okay, then H. H point is where it is located. X axis 2, Y axis minus 4. Okay, then F. F coordinate is minus 3 comma minus 3. X axis is minus 3. Y axis is this is x x dash. This is y y dash. Okay. So f coordinate is minus 3 comma minus 3. This is f coordinate. So m g h f is over then i. So coordinates of i point is minus 4 comma 2. Minus 4 comma 2. Then n coordinate is 1 comma 5. 1 comma 5. So hope I have completed everything. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 coordinate points they are asked to locate us. So if you are uh, writing the um, coordinate points, x axis point you have to write first, then the y axis point. So this is the thing. So if you are, if you are asked to plot that I will tell you how to do in the next one. This is the next exercise sum. In which quadrant or on which axis do each of the following points lie? So we will locate these points in the Cartesian plane 
and you are asked to find on which quadrant or on which axis these points lie. Okay. So, you draw a Cartesian plane, x-axis, y-axis and we will mark the points here. Positive axis, this is negative axis for x-axis and for y-axis this is negative axis. And this one is positive axis. Okay. Then this is the first quadrant. This is second quadrant. This is third one. And this one is the fourth one. Okay. Now we will locate the given points on this Cartesian plane. So first one is minus 2 comma 4. So minus 2 is x axis and 4 is y axis. So minus 2 comma 4 will be here, this point. Minus 2 comma 4. Okay, first one. So that is in the second quadrant. 3 comma minus 1. So 3 is here, minus 1 is here. So 3 comma minus 1 is this point. This is in the fourth quadrant. Minus 1 comma 0. So minus 1 here. 0. So, this one is on the x-axis. I told you, you know, x comma 0 will be the point on the x-axis. So, minus 1 comma 0, this is on the x-axis. Then 1 comma 2. So, 1 comma 2. So, this is in the first quadrant. 1 comma 2. So, 1, first one is x-axis 1, 2 is y-axis. Minus 3 comma minus 5. Minus 3 comma minus 5. So, this is minus 3 and this one is minus 5. So, minus 3 comma minus 5 will be this point. Okay. So, minus 2 comma 4. Minus 2 comma 4 is in the second quadrant. 3 comma minus 1. So, 3 comma minus 1 is in the fourth quadrant. Minus 1 comma 0 on the x axis 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 in the first quadrant 1 comma 2 minus 3 comma minus 5 minus 3 comma minus 5 in the third quadrant so this is the thing they are asking you to do so whatever points they are asking so, be very careful. One mistake what you people will do is, this x-axis positive and negative axis you will interchange. So, if you interchange any one axis also, that is, here if you write negative axis, here if you write positive axis also, the whole thing will be wrong. So, be careful in marking the uh, x-axis and y-axis positive and negative side. Similarly, uh, y-axis positive and negative side also. You be very careful. Okay. Few extra sums other than the textbook also we will do now. Sums I have completed. Uh, few more sums extra I am going to do. So the first thing is mirror image. Mirror image means when you take a point. Mirror image. So mirror image means when you take a point on the Cartesian plane. 1, 2, 3. This is x axis. This is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. This is y axis, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. This is 1, 2, 3. So, this is the x axis and y axis on the Cartesian plane. If you are asked to find uh, the mirror image for 4, 3, mirror image for 4, 3 on x axis, that is on x axis and y axis, the mirror image will change. So, if it is 4 comma 3, how will you plot that 4 comma 3? That 4 comma 3 will be in the first quadrant. This is 4 comma 3 point. Okay. So, this is 4 comma 3 point. So, mirror image through x axis that is on the x axis in the x axis that means if you keep a mirror here, where will be the reflection of that image? It will be on the other side that is for the first quadrant. If you keep the x axis here, it will be in the fourth quadrant. 
So, the mirror image for that will be 4, minus 3. So, 4 is x axis. Uh, minus 3 is y axis. So, for 4, 3 through x axis, the mirror image will be 4, minus 3. The same point through y axis means you will keep the mirror here. So, the reflection will be on the other side of this. So, this is first quadrant. You will get or uh, through y axis means your reflection for this given point will be on this side. That is you will get the point here. You will get the point here. That is this is 4, minus 3. So, this is minus 4, 3. Minus 4, 3. This is the mirror image through y axis. This is the mirror image in the x axis. This is the mirror image for this point on the y axis. So, it varies. Depending upon the axis, the mirror image varies. Wherever it is, on the opposite side, you will be getting the mirror image for that. Okay. Next sum is, plot the point P minus 6, 3 on the graph paper. Draw PL perpendicular to x axis and PM perpendicular to y axis. Write the coordinates of L and M. So, I am drawing a Cartesian plane. Here negative axis. This is for x and this one is y axis. You are asked to plot You are asked to plot minus 6, 3. You are asked to plot minus 6, 3. So, minus 6 is here. Minus 6, 3. So, minus 6 is x axis and 3 is y axis. So, we will be plotting it. Minus 6, 3. Here. So, this is P minus 6, 3. So, we have plotted that. That is the first thing given. Then, draw PL perpendicular to x axis. So, perpendicular means it will be 90 degree. Perpendicular to x axis. So, this is x axis. So, you are asked to draw PL perpendicular to x axis. So, this point where it meets the x axis is L point. And PM perpendicular to y axis. So, this is y axis perpendicular to that. That is 90 degree to that y axis is the point where it meets is M. Okay. So, this is whatever they, are, they asked. We have done that. Write the coordinates of L and M. So, if you know what is perpendicular, if you know how to plot these things, then only you can able to do this. Okay. So, L is L point is minus 6, comma. L point is minus 6, comma 3. L point is x axis is minus 6, y axis is, uh, sorry, it is on the x axis. So, this is minus 6. Y axis is, it is on that, this L point is on the axis. So, it is minus 6, comma 0 on the x axis. So, it is minus 6, 0. Then M point is, M is on the y axis. It is on the y axis. So, x axis point is 0 and y axis point is 3. 0, 3. So, they are asked, they asked to write the coordinates of L and M. So, L point is on the x axis. So, it is minus 6, 0. M, M is M point is on the y axis. So, it is 0, 3. To sum is, the three vertices of a rectangle ABCD are A, 2, 2, B, minus 3, 2 and C, minus 3, minus 4. Plot these points on a graph paper and find the coordinates of D. Also find the area of the rectangle formed. So, in the Cartesian plane, we will plot the points now. So, first one is, 
2 comma 2. So that is A 2 comma 2. Okay. B is minus 3 comma 2. So B point is minus 3 comma 2. So this is minus 3 comma 2. Then minus 3 comma minus 4. Minus 3 comma minus 4. So this is C. Minus 3 comma minus 4. So you are asked to plot the points and find the coordinates of the D. So you will be getting the fourth vertex for the rectangle. So we will join these points. So this one. This one will expand. Then if you extend this point you have to get a rectangle. So where you will get a rectangle. See here. When you join it you will get a rectangle. That is the fourth vertex at this point. So that point is, so you will get a rectangle here. So that point is, x axis is 2 and y axis is minus 4. So this is the fourth vertex of the rectangle. So we are asked to find the coordinates of the d. So d coordinate is 2 comma minus 4. Now we are asked to find the area of the rectangle. So for finding the area of the rectangle, we need length and breadth. So, one side we will take it as length, the other one we will take it as breadth. So, this point is here, this is 1 cm. At 1 cm only we are plotting the points. So, this is 1, 2, 3. So, this side we have 3 points and this side we have 2 points. So, 3 plus 2, 5. So, 5 units is the length. Okay, 5 units is the length into, length into breadth is the area of the rectangle. So, area of rectangle is length into breadth. Length into breadth. So, length is 5 units and the breadth is, here you have 2 units. 1, 2, 2 units. Here you have 4 units. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 4 plus 2, it is 6 units for the breadth. So, 6 fives are 30 square units is the area of the Rectangle. So, this is the area of the rectangle. Area of the rectangle is length into breadth. For, need, for that we need four sides. Three vertices are only given. Fourth vertex we are asked to find. After finding the fourth vertex, we are joining the uh, given figure. Then after that we are finding the length and breadth of that. So, length, length and breadth is 5 and 6 units we are getting. So, 5 into 6 is 6 fives are 30 square units. Next sum is the vertices of triangle ABC are A 1,4, B 2,2, sorry minus 2,2 and C 3,2. Plot these points and calculate the area of the triangle. So we plot these points. 1, 2, 3, x axis. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Minus 3, minus 4, 1, 2, this is y axis. You are asked to plot 3 points and find the area of the triangle ABC. So A is 1, 4. So 1, 4 point will be here. This point is. 1, 4. A, 1, 4. B is minus 2, 2. Minus 2, 2. B point is minus 2, 2. So, this is B point and C is 3, 2. 3, 2. So, 3, 2 will be this point. This is C point. 3, 2. So, A, B, C are the three vertices of the triangle. Now, we will join these three points. We will get a triangle. We will join these points. So, this is 3, 2. So, your 2 will be here. This point. So, we will be getting a triangle. So, for this triangle, we will be getting the area. So, area will be base into height. So, the height is from here to here. This is 2 
and this one is at the fourth point it is said. So the distance of the, the height will be 2 units. So area of triangle is area of triangle is half into base into height. Area of triangle is half into base into height. So half into base is height is uh, 2 units. Just now we have calculated this is 1 centimeter and this is 1 centimeter. So it is 2 units and the base is from here it has to be calculated. So here, here this side 2 units and this side 3 units. So 2 plus 3, 5 units. So when you simplify this, we will get the area of the triangle ABC. Area of triangle ABC is 5 units. So with this, I have completed the whole chapter coordinate geometry. Only all these concepts we have. Other than the textbook, few sums also I have covered, extra sums I have covered. If you have any doubt, please message me in the comment box. In the next class, I will be doing the next chapter. Okay, children. Keep practicing. Thank you.